Are you getting everything you can from your Netflix subscription? As the world's most popular streaming service, Netflix makes a living making streaming convenient for cord cutters. But there are hidden settings you may not be aware of that can help you get more value from your subscription. In this video, we're unlocking nine secret Netflix settings you can start using today to find things to watch faster, maximize your data usage, and customize your viewing experience. We're going to show you how to do all these things on a computer because several of them can only be done on a computer. However, once you get these Netflix tips and tricks going on a laptop, you can screencast it to your TV and watch on a big screen. And any settings you change on a computer will carry over to your TV. The first two of our Netflix hacks will help you search for something to watch more efficiently. And you can use the first of these Netflix tricks straight from your TV too. Netflix does the best it can do to organize its many titles into content categories to help you find something to watch as fast as possible, but it can't put everything on its home screen. If you already know what kind of content you want to watch and don't want to scroll, you can use the search bar to filter results. For example, if you want to just see Netflix originals, you can type Netflix into the search bar. This will bring up all Netflix original content. And you'll also see some related search terms that are helpful there at the top, like Netflix is a joke for stand-up comedy specials, Oscar collections, and book club. You can also filter content by other terms, like 4K, which will quickly show you all the titles on Netflix that you can stream in 4K. As you can see, there still aren't a ton of those yet. Our next of nine Netflix tips is about hidden codes for hidden Netflix categories. Now, you might have heard of Netflix hidden codes. It's one of several cool shortcuts that allow you to unlock Netflix secret menus of content that would otherwise take you a long time to find if you search by title one at a time. This hack works only from a computer. So there are hundreds of codes you can use to search for content on Netflix. Some of these codes unlock content that Netflix already puts on its home screen, like comedy, drama, action, and sci-fi, but others are much more specific. For example, let's say you want to watch soccer movies. In your internet browser window, type netflix.com backslash browse backslash genre backslash, and then the five digit code for the category or subcategory of titles you want to see on Netflix. In this case, the code for soccer movies is 12549. Press enter and all soccer movies on Netflix will appear. Or maybe you want to watch cult comedies. You'd swap out those last five digits in your internet browser to 77232. You can find these codes by doing an internet search for hidden Netflix codes and get started from there. Netflix will also show titles related to your specific search and the results, which should be closer to what you're interested in than a general search would provide. Let's move on to more Netflix hidden features, this time dealing with optimizing your Netflix streaming settings. Specifically, we're going to talk about how to optimize your data usage and playback settings on Netflix. Click on your profile, then click account from the drop down menu. From here, you can adjust the settings by profile. Click the profile you want to adjust. In our case, we're going to click John. That's going to open settings options we can change around language, viewing restrictions, activity, ratings, subtitles, communication, and more. We're going to click playback settings here to adjust our data usage settings. Click the word change. You can turn on or off autoplay of next episode and previews, and you can change data usage to low, medium, or high. We have ours set to auto, but we could change that to low to minimize data usage. This is helpful if you're on a data cap plan or you don't stream on Wi-Fi. High is off for us because we have the basic subscription, which only allows streaming in standard definition. But our fourth tip is to turn this option on and select streaming in HD or UHD quality if your subscription includes it. If you're paying for it and you're not worried about data usage, you want to make sure you're actually using it. Another quick way to check this if you're not in account settings but are on a computer is to enter netflix.com backslash HD toggle, then select high. Just know that if you have a bad habit of streaming Netflix on your data plan, HD videos use three to seven gigs of data per hour. One way to keep HD settings at home and low settings on the go is to change the data usage settings to low when you're streaming on your phone. Disabling the play next episode automatically feature is another way to limit the amount of streaming you do in high definition. 
For another settings hack, let's look at downloads. You probably know that you can download titles to watch offline when you aren't connected to the internet. If you didn't know you could do this in Netflix, it's a great way to plan ahead of time to watch content without a data connection, like when you're flying or away from your home network. This is something you'll need to do from the Netflix app on a mobile device. You can select the download video quality that best suits your needs. You can choose from standard or high. Standard is slightly lower quality and requires less storage space. It also takes less time to download. This can be helpful if you don't want to take up a ton of space on your phone or tablet, or you want to download items faster. To check your download settings, open the Netflix app and select the three-line hamburger icon or the profile icon, then select App Settings. Select Downloads, then Download Video Quality. Select Standard to lower your download settings. You can see here that we have the Download on Wi-Fi Only option enabled. That will prevent titles from downloading when we're not on Wi-Fi and we have our download quality set to standard. You can also enable the Smart Downloads option here. Clicking that brings up options to let Netflix automatically download the next episode of a series you've already downloaded, and it shows that will only happen on Wi-Fi. You can also choose to have Netflix automatically download a selection of movies and shows for you so you always have something to watch. If you aren't worried about your storage space running out, this is a nice option because downloads will occur only on Wi-Fi. Let's move to another Netflix setting you can use to tailor your viewing experience, captions or subtitles. Did you know that you can change the way subtitles appear on Netflix? Not all streaming services offer this capability, so it is pretty nice that Netflix does. Access subtitle settings by clicking on the profile icon, then account. Then select the profile you want to adjust subtitles for. Then click Change next to Subtitle Appearance. You can adjust the font style, size, and color by device type, and create different settings for TVs, computers, and mobile devices. Our next tip is to enable Chrome extensions to your Netflix experience. When you're watching Netflix on a computer, there are a number of free Chrome extensions you can use to enhance your viewing experience. Three we're going to show you here are Foreign Language Learning, Netflix Flip, and IMDb Ratings. First, learning a foreign language with Netflix. Say you want to brush up your Spanish skills. You can use the Language Reactor Chrome extension to display subtitles in the language you want to learn with the language you already know beneath it. You'll hear the movie in Spanish, for example, and see Spanish on screen and see the English below it. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Now I have a question for you. Do you watch a lot of Netflix on your computer in bed? If so, you know how quickly it can start to make your neck hurt. The Netflix Flip Chrome extension flips Netflix in your browser, allowing you to turn your computer and watch shows without neck strain. Would you like to add IMDb ratings for movies and shows into your Netflix viewing? There's a Chrome extension for that. Enabling it will automatically display IMDb ratings in a little yellow circle in the top right corner of titles and right next to the Rotten Tomatoes ratings in the show details view. Now let's move on to an eighth Netflix trick, removing titles from your watched history. Maybe you binged a show that you don't want others to know you viewed without them, or you watched something and didn't like it and don't want it to influence Netflix's recommendations for you. Go to your profile, then account settings, then viewing activity. A list of recently watched titles will appear. Click the circle with the line through it next to the title or titles you want to remove. Within 24 hours, that title will no longer appear as watched or be used for recommendations. You can also quickly hide an entire series. Now let's cover our final Netflix settings trick for this video, signing out of all devices. Why might you want to do this? Well, maybe there's someone streaming on your Netflix account who shouldn't be anymore, or you think your account might have been hacked. You can sign out everywhere with the click of a button. Click Profile, then Account, then scroll down to the bottom and click Sign Out of All Devices. Confirm your choice and voila, you're done. As you can see, there is a lot you can do to customize your Netflix experience. We've really only just scratched the surface with this video. Let us know about your best Netflix tricks and tips in the comments below. What's your favorite hack for getting more value from your Netflix subscription? Which item on our list was your favorite? And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.